community style does benefit me because it helps me top up the food that I buy from the other shops outside. It's like 3 50 a week on a Tuesday and then you get a free shop on a Friday. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to cope. I'm just a cook. From the community store I get vegetables, milk, cereal, rice, pasta, soup, sweet corn, lots of stuff. I've got four children so I've cooked for them. And over the years that I've learned, that's helped me to be a cook. The children usually eat their meals in the hall and then on a Tuesday and Friday they eat in the nursery because of the um, community shop day. I think they're happy to come and sit down because they know it's lunchtime and soon the cook's cooked. <laughs> what I remember of my school dinners, I didn't like it at all. It was very rush rush because they have to get so many children in and it was really like being in the cattle market. I did like the puddings though, like the sponge cake and custard and ice cream and we used to have things like, it's more like a mousse, but it was named with like, but the butterscotch one was really lovely, yeah. I'm making it different because they get choices and if they don't want something, they don't have to have it. So it's completely different. We plan out menus each week. We go through what nutrition they're going to have in their meals and that, and what ingredients it is. They do like chicken korma and naan bread. I can do a pasta bake, but just a vegetable cheesy one with broccoli in it, and they really love it. I've got a connection with all the children. When I give them their food, I chat with them as well. And so it's completely different. I didn't have that connection with the dinner ladies when I was at school. Every day is something different with them. They're just lovely, like, little people. I want the children to have a good food experience and take away good memories of me dishing up their food and I'm a friendly person and being friendly with them. That's what it's all about.